This is exciting. We're doing a bonus episode today because we thought this was really fun to talk about. So first of all, you are tuning in to Getting Magnetic with Sandy and Wade. This is just a raw edit of us talking on this topic so you won't even hear an intro, an outro, any ads. We're just shooting it on this. So I want to ask you, did you see that thing circulating last week about Venmo, you know, giving people $500 if they reshared that post? Did you, did you post that? I want to know if you posted that. And if you did, there's no shame, but we just wanted to like talk a little bit about this topic. Yeah, that was such an interesting topic. That was one like, oh, I got to go in on this because it's so interesting. And there's so much going on behind that, behind the scenes there, like wanted to unwrap it, right? First, you know, Venmo is huge. Almost everyone knows about it, but you guys have probably been seeing yourself or other people or friends repost like Venmo's doing this big giveaway of however much money, but you basically share Venmo, the the post, the social media Instagram post on your stories for a chance to win $500. And so in unwrapping that, I was like, whoa, how savvy of a move by Venmo. What they're doing is the new age of marketing, where we're at in the 21st century in 2021 as far as marketing. All these big brands, and we're just using Venmo as this example, are using affiliate marketing or network marketing or basically tapping into other people's networks to add their products or services value to. So Venmo is saying, hey, we're doing a giveaway and people are sharing it to their stories. Now, most people know Venmo, but basically just sharing it to their networks. At the end of the day, what is that? That's network marketing, right? And we'll get into that. But first and foremost, I had the idea of like, gosh, this is America, right? We have a chance to win $500 for doing next to nothing, just reposting something to our stories. Oh my gosh, let me do it for a chance to win 500 once for that one in 100,000 chance, right? And it got me thinking like, what if everyone who posted that, obviously they want an extra $500. What if you worked a little, instead of trading nothing, just reposting for the slight, slight, slight chance at winning 500 what if you just put in some work to create an extra 500 in your life, to create a residual $500 a month, let's say, in your life? What would that look like? Starting the side hustle, starting the business, doing the thing, doing whatever it is, washing people's cars, starting a network marketing business, whatever that looks like, how much more valuable is that? Instead of the one in one million chance of winning 500 bucks once, You're putting in some work, now not full time, but some work to create an extra 500 a month, month after month residually for potentially for life. I thought it was interesting too. I saw so many people reshare that. So many. People that literally are not active on social media. People that I'm like, wow, haven't seen you on here since 2019. And you're coming on Instagram to repost at the chance of winning $500. Like, not trying to shit on it, but I kind of was like, what are these people doing? Like, do they understand that like what they are doing is network marketing? They literally are using what influence, little influence, lots of influence, whatever influence they have to try and put this out there to their network at the chance of maybe hopefully winning $500. And to me, it's kind of this like bigger picture of like a lot of people want the I don't want to say get rich quick, but it's kind of like want the easy way out. Like they're just like, oh, that that would be, I could just do this. It'll take me three seconds to make $500. But if you have the mindset of, if you're in the space where you're like, wow, an extra $500 a month or an extra $500 once would be life changing. Maybe switching that mindset to, wow, how could I create a little bit of value to create this residually and actually be benefiting people and, you know, sharing things or building something that you love and are passionate about. So we thought it was pretty interesting and we wanted to just share on that topic. Yeah. And then, yeah. So part two, that underlying theme of very savvy move by Venmo, right? Mm -hmm. Whoever's responsible for their PR, I take my hat off to them. Great move. They are tapping into the network marketing business model as a lot of these other big brands and companies are as Amazon is, as all these things, because what they're saying is, gosh, let's use word of mouth advertising. Let's reach people that we aren't reaching right now by having everyone share our product or service for Venmo, our service. Have them share it with their networks. Have them share something they already use with their networks. They're using the network marketing business model. It, now, it, 
it looks a little different than how you might think of it. But at the end of the day, if you share something that you use and love with your network, you are network marketing. So savvy move by Venmo. I think the takeaway here is, wow, a lot of these big brands are doing, gosh, network marketing or social marketing, whatever we want to call it, is here. It is the business model of the present, of the future. It is very savvy marketing. All these big brands are doing it too. I just didn't know that. But then also, whoa, okay. Rather than me like wanting to make 500 for doing nothing, how could I start making an extra 500 a month? Whether that's through a network marketing business model or it's through anything, any way of doing that. But that's it. That was our first one. Yeah, something fun to think about. Yeah. Well, we may do more of these. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.